Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Story Mode Season 3 video. Um, sorry this is like very very late, honestly. I've been... I Actually, I don't want to make any more excuses because I feel like I've been making too many excuses. But yeah, um, I wanted to really take my time with this video and do some research. And I was like looking back through the episodes on both Season 1 and Season 2 on the characters you guys mentioned. Um, thank you guys so so much for your comments. There were actually a bunch of your comments, so... I think for this video, this is going to be kind of like a part 1, and if you guys want to see a part 2 to more characters you guys want to see in in the possibility of Minecraft Star Wars Season 3, be sure to let me know down in the comments section down below. I'll probably be using both comments from the other video and this video, but let me know if there's someone I missed that you guys want me to talk about, and I could do like more of a in die video on talking about those characters as well, because I really want to focus on these characters that I have at the moment that you guys mentioned. Um, I wanted to mention two things before continuing the video with Season 3. In case you guys don't know, there's actually a Minecraft movie that's happening, and I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to cover videos about it and just talk about my opinions about it. The Minecraft movie is something that actually interests me because, by the way, it's described so far. Um, there's like a big celebrities that are going to be in the Minecraft movie, and it's going to be live action. And it seems like there's going to be a lot of inspiration from Minecraft story mode. Um, I believe Gabriel is gonna be in it. I think I do not know. I think like they're gonna they're gonna bring back characters from Minecraft story mode and then put it into the movie as like their own um their own thing, I guess you could say. It's like kinda like their own Minecraft story mode movie. So if you guys want me to talk about it, be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below because I know there's been like some news lately about that. But yeah. One more thing, you guys mentioned about, a lot of you guys mentioned in the comment section that you guys want me to make ship videos on Jesse and Petra, Jesse and Lucas, and Ivor and Harper. So if you guys want to see that in like a further discussion video, then let me know down in the comment section down below. But yeah, we're gonna get started. If you guys could leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see Minecraft movie content or what other type of content you guys want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And I really, really, really appreciate it. But yeah. Let's get started with the video. So, I chose, like, I guess the main important characters that people have been asking the most characters I've been seeing in the comment section. So, I think the first character I'm going to mention is Ivor. So, Ivor, he had a pretty small role in Season 2, I believe. I feel like his role in Season 2 was not as big as Season 1. He was in Season 2. He appeared in Episode 3, I believe, and... I guess it was like a reintroduction or whatever when he was like incognito I guess you could say. But he was a lot of fan favorites and he was actually voiced by Paul Rubin who unfortunately passed away last year. And a lot of people were mentioning about how, hey, it's probably not possible because Paul Rubin is not here to voice the character. And that is true. There's kind of like multiple factors to it. I think Telda Games or Mojang, I'm gonna say Mojang for now. I think they would want to respect the character of Ivor, and so I don't think they would bring him back just because of Paul Rubin passing away and not being able to voice Ivor again. So I feel like they would just like kindly leave his character. I feel like his um, character arc kind of like left off perfectly in Season 2, so I don't think they would really touch upon that character again in my personal opinion. Next character is Harper. So Harper is actually one of my favorites. She was in season 1 and she was actually voiced by Yvette Nicole Brown who I love very very much. She was part of the old builders and she also created Pamela. And it was really interesting because um, I found out about this while doing research but she was supposed to have like a role in season 2 with Ivor. But uh, it was not able to happen just because of budget issues that was happening with Telltale Games at the time. Which makes a lot of sense because they were having a bunch of like money issues with like the walk into the final season and the Wolf Among Us 2. I think there was like a rumor that was only going to be three episodes and I think Batman the Enemy Within had like a budget as well. Like it was like, I think the Batman Enemy Within was good but like I think there was an issue where it didn't sell enough so they kind of like spent all their budget on that game. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I find it to be really interesting for Harper to be in the next season of Minecraft Storm Mode if possible. The thing is is that I feel like Harper and Ivor are mostly like a team, especially since to um, her cut content in season 2, there was supposed to be like a partner duo in like a mission, but that never ended up happening and I don't see Ivor returning either, so I don't see... Harper could return maybe like an easter egg or something, but 
I feel like there isn't really a point to Harper since Ivor isn't there, if that makes sense. The big one, Jesse. Um, his her story was left open-ended at the end of season two. It's really interesting because at the end of season two, I hate saying this, but they they just copied the ending of um, Batman: The Enemy Within. Um, with both endings, they had an ending where you could either stay and just continue to do things while um, for Jesse was Beacon Town, or you can leave and go off to adventures and just like leave Beacon Town behind. So. That's coming. Kind of, that's gonna kind of be interesting. They were doing with Jesse, and it's kind of hard to tell like what they would do if Jesse would come back. I feel like Jesse's story, even though it was left open ended, it was like it could have been a sequel. There could not have been a sequel. But I don't think I don't think Jesse would return. In my personal opinion, I feel like since season two and season one, um, most season two, I guess I could say, season two was a while ago. It was about wasn't it like four or five years? I think it was like four to five years. Um, it was a long, like a long time ago, and so I feel like it would make sense for them to continue the story of Jesse. I feel like they will want to make brand new characters in a third season of Minecraft story mode, just for the sake of we need new characters and just like basically like be in the world of Minecraft story mode, but just have like new type of characters, like a new cast, basically. Because I feel like it's been a long while, and not a lot of people are gonna remember the original story, and they're gonna want to advertise to new players on the new Minecraft story mode stuff. So that's why I feel like it's personally going to happen. I do feel like Jesse's story is completely over. I feel like it would have continued if Telltale Games didn't go bankrupt, but they went bankrupt. They got revived again, but they don't own the IP to uh, Minecraft, story mode, uh, Minecraft story mode anymore. And that's up to Mojang at this point. Axel and Olivia. It's really weird this one. Um, I hate to say it, but I don't see them returning either. Basically, Axel and Olivia, they had a really big role in uh, in the first season of Minecraft Story Mode. But I think their role was really like over. I think it was like episode f I think it was episode four or five they were done and then the extra episodes, it was just Jesse, Ivor, and Petra. And I believe Lucas, they were kind of like the main characters they wanted to focus instead. And I don't know why they did that. I wonder if it's because Axel and Olivia weren't really big characters in the beginning. I feel like they wanted to focus on Petra and Ivor. I'm assuming just because they had like big names behind um, the people that were playing them. I'm assuming. I don't know exactly. I uh, That's why I feel like personally. I don't know. It might have been like just a... a it might have just been like a schedule conflict, but I feel like that's what personally happened. I think just um, Petra and um, Ivor were just like fan favorites, I guess you could say. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but Olivia's voice actress was actually changed in season two. Um, she had like a completely different voice actress um, from season one, and Axel and Olivia weren't in the very in that episode very long, so it seemed like their story was like kind of over like they weren't really a big deal in season two they did not have a role whatsoever i feel like so they were really pushed to the side that's why i feel like they won't return just because um they're jesse's friends of course and i don't think if jesse's not going to return then axel and olivia that doesn't make sense for them to return now cassie rose slash the white pumpkin the white pumpkin was teased at the end of season two if i'm correct and and it seems like it could be possible that they want to intend, intend this white pumpkin to be like kind of like a main villain again. Just kind of like, I feel like with the white pumpkin tease at the end, they kind of want to go for the same arc that they went with the Witherstorm and the admin. I feel like that's what they were trying to do with this like little tease. But it's more of like testing the waters to see how people would react to the white pumpkin. Especially with Cassie Rose. Cassie Rose like literally murdered a lot of YouTubers in the YouTuber episode and it was pretty intense. Last character I wanted to mention was Stella. She was like more of like an antagonist. I don't know if she was really an antagonist. I feel like, I think she technically was an antagonist but she was kind of like um, like I guess a good person at the end. Uh, Stella's relationship with Luna was really interesting and I feel like Stella and Jesse like had like a ma way bigger like interaction with um axel and olivia in my personal opinion and i was like looking through like what people were saying in the community and a lot of people actually like stella which i was really surprised by i think 
in the beginning, Stella was obviously supposed to give to the player that she was kind of like this annoying person, like kind of like more of a, like an antagonist, but then she became more of a protagonist and she became really interesting and became a fan favorite. So that's kind of like why I want I could see her returning for a third season if she were to have her own game or something like that. But yeah, that is currently it for um, the bunch of characters that you guys recommended to me. I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for recommending me um, these list of characters. Um, let me know which other characters you guys want me to see in the next video. Um, I really wanted to put this out and that's why I didn't have like the whole... That's why I didn't have all the list of all the characters here because it was a little bit overwhelming for me. And I didn't think it would be a lot, so if there's any other characters I didn't mention, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be checking the other video as well. Um, and I'll be making like an update video on that if you guys want me to talk more about other characters that you guys want to see. But yeah, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. I think I'm going to be making Minecraft movie content, so be sure to let me know if you guys want to see that. I would love to make videos on that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later in the next video, so I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!